guys welcome back to my channel thank you for joining me um if you hear the the sound in the background that's my fan it's a little warm because it's getting cold outside and the furnace is on like the boiler room is like right here so it makes my room really hot so that's why that's on and it was a little warm today so yeah the rest of the house needs to heat up but my room is it the heat is off yeah i'm just making sure i was like um, but anyways, let's get into this. So as you can tell by the title, this is a haul video. I did do a haul myself for October, but also October was my birthday as well. So it's my birthday month. So I got gifts from really generous people in my life. Thank you so much. Um, so that includes, I don't know what's going on with my lashes, but it looks like I have a lazy eye on one side. Can you see that? Like right here? I don't know. It looks like I have a lazy eye on one side. But anyways, so. Um, so I'm very happy with um, all the stuff I've received. Um, so just a disclaimer, some of these, are, majority of these are actually gifts. Some of them are gifts to myself, <laughs> of course. Um, so if you like videos like this, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And let's get into this video. And if you don't know me, my name is Karen. And I do lifestyle videos. Um, hauls are kind of my favorite thing, and I find that a lot of people like hauls as well. So let's get diving in into the products. I will go with from when I got them. I couldn't a chronicle order. So when I got them, and then that way you guys kind of have an idea. So ooh. so there was a ColourPop sale. I think this was Labor Day long weekend. I can't remember, but I bought some ColourPop stuff. Um, this might be a little old. So when I received this ColourPop order, I wanted one of the palettes I wanted. They gave me the wrong one. So I had to deal with shipping. Um, I had to call, call customer service and find that out on what happened. So I got the, but I've never showed this, sorry, and I haven't showed my ColourPop purchase. So I just got palettes. So they had 25% off all palettes. So I got the Dream Big uh, mon uh, Monochromatic Palette Vault. So this includes all the um, monochromatic palettes that they have. I actually wanted the green, blue, and yellow. But I was like, honestly, I might as well get the other two colors. So it comes in this cute packaging, which is so adorable. Like this. And then when you open it up. You see the two, so I got Aha uh -huh, Honey, Just My Luck. And then if you open this one up, Aren't You Glad and Main Squeeze. Let's close that guy up. And then on this side, I got Blue Moon and It's My Pleasure. And I heard so many good things about It's My Pleasure too, so I was trying one of those things, like I might as well got the vault. And I think it's originally 56 or something, or something like that. And then 25% off of that. Uh, the other one I wanted is, uh, was the Garden Variety Palette because it had cat eye on it. And I love cat eyes. I'm a big, big plant person. But they sent me the wrong one. They sent me the wall nothing. Which I was not impressed about because this is actually the smaller pan one. So I'll show you what they look like. I'm not going to swatch these ones just because... This is not what I wanted. So let me just open this guy up. I'm actually going to give this to my brother's girlfriend because she kind of never tried ColourPop. So I was going to do that with her. The only reason I'm not doing these colors is because these colors are very light tone for me. Like the Garden Variety had more darker tones, which will suit my skin tone. She's very fair compared to uh, me. And honestly, this one... The only thing that really gets me is that green, that one, and then maybe that one. Like, pretty much those ones do. Otherwise, it's a cute palette. Um, it, when I saw it, I was like, well, that's so cute. And then I know that Heather really likes this one. Um, but it's not for me. For fair skin, it's not really a good one. I think I wanted to get the Garden Variety one. But I asked them to replace it. And they said they can't do that, so I just asked them to refund me because I really wanted the Garden Variety. So, really sucks because I was really looking forward to that palette. <laughs> That's the one I was really excited about. 
but I got the mo monochromatic so I will be doing another I will most likely be doing more Colourpop orders this is the only time that they messed up on it so um, technically this is a free palette um, I could put in a giveaway in one of my giveaway piles but she wanted to try Colourpop and you know what I might as well let her try it out because I don't know if other people would like Colourpop but Colourpop is actually a good company so it's the first time that they messed up on my order which is like really weird but I you know I don't know what happened someone wasn't doing the job properly that's all I'm gonna say all right so the next thing is um presents that I got for doing my birthday so my brother and his fiance my older one who's younger than me but the other, the youngest one's girlfriend that was there but they just got engaged in September they got me this for my birthday so this is from Maritzia it's this scarf which is so cute it's the diamond shark recran one size scarf from uh Aritzia, and it's the wilfred one and this is supposed to be per australian wool so that's exciting i don't know if it is cruelty free or if this is a hundred uh, it says 100 percent cool uh 100 percent wool i don't know if it's cruelty free but it's a gift so i can't really be like no i don't want that but it's wool so usually they don't harm animals when they strip from wool if they do then that's really fucked up but anyways that's that um the other thing i got is from functional beauty you guys already know this i think i got this i got purple shampoo after i dyed my hair back from blonde but this purple shampoo is good for blonde hair so if you don't know about a function of beauty, this is my purple shampoo. I'm going to keep it. And then when I dye my hair like a blonde or a color, then I will use the purple shampoo for it. So this is supposed to be the shampoo. I didn't get any conditioner because I'd rather get the mask. But that was my order. Um, it talks about it's a customer hair stuff. So I need to get conditioner because the one I got last time, I didn't really like. And I didn't really like the conditioner. So I'm just going to... I have to change up my order and then you could do it where it's a subscription so you could change it up on how you, often you want it so i changed it every three months or four months or something so i found that i think it was i think it was at three months and i found that i wasn't going through my shampoo that fast or every two months i think so i had to change it up to like whatever because i have another function beauty shampoo still in my drawer so that's that um for more information i'll a link it below but yeah then i got myself adore me i was stopping their vip um and then stopped getting emails by them so i got off the vip list <coughs> excuse me that just means that they will give me certain credit and i kept getting alerts from this so i wasn't really buying every month so i just got where I had enough credit, like $75. So I just bought myself something and I only had to pay shipping for like, I only had to pay $12 in shipping, but I didn't find it was worth having the membership, I guess, because I'm not buying that much laundry or bras and stuff. And if I need them, then I could go buy them. Sometimes they have certain selection and then they get sold out on them. So I was like, this is not really worth it. So if I need it, I could go to the Senso or something. Oh, Victoria's Secret. But anyways, um, I got myself a bra for my dormy. Just a simple teacher bra. Nothing exciting. I got a size I usually am, but it was too small, I think. Because I think I grew. Um, I got matching uh, panties for this. Uh, a thong, I believe. Yes, a thong. And it's more like that this like nice material and it's kind of like the seamless almost one so it's really pretty i don't, I don't want to go grab it but it's pretty much the same texture i don't know if you guys want to see it and then i was like oh this is super cute it kind of goes with my nails but not really because it's leopard print but they had this cute lingerie set that i was like oh my god how could i say no it came with a g-string in this i don't really know where to put it I think I put the G-string right. I don't really care for it. But it's in the same material. So it's like this 
cute look how cute that is so it literally kind of passes my bum but this goes up right below my bum kind of thing i tried it on to see and it has whoa okay hold on this is so it's like this cute oh my god almost like a baby doll thing but it's like super cute and then on the back it looks like that i'm not gonna try this on that's too much for youtube um but it kind of like ties in the back and this is an XL and it actually fits me perfectly um, just because of this part I, I was worried that's gonna be too small and then I didn't want it too tight either I think I could have gone with the large but the extra large is perfect because I think it goes over my eye. I don't know if the large the large might be too short so but it's like the perfect length and yeah it came with like this skimpy little g-string which is the same pattern as this and I'm not really a fan of g-strings so yeah, I don't know. I might wear something else like a black panty to this or something. I don't know. Like a black long or something. I don't know. But it's cute. It's like, it's lingerie, but it's not like corset or tight or what, you know what I mean? It's just, it's very me, I guess. <laughs> um, so that's that. Um, and then I ordered stuff from the pop-up store um on boxy charm and i got it i think september and i haven't even got to show it to you guys so i i don't know i think these guys were like 12 dollars. so i got the smashbox photo finish super light smooth and blur primer i heard really good things about it so this is supposed to be a sample size i think i don't even know how big this is um it's one fluid ounce so 30 mils so it's not that big so i needed I want to try it um because i really like the foundation right now and then i got this cute beauty bakery illumin illuminator so cute i heard so many good things about beauty breaky so yeah so it comes like that like in like little ice cream carton which is super cute um and it's in the color so icy i'm guessing i think that's what it is so that's pretty cute. Um, I haven't opened it yet just because I don't know if I'm going to open it up and use it. Oh, sorry, iced. So icy illuminator and iced. That's the color. And then I got these cute, cute Kaj, uh, Kaja um, eyeshadow trios. I have seen these and they're so freaking cute. Um, so it, this is made in Korea. So I got two of them. I got the Beauty Bento in Orange Blossom. I've seen some YouTubers have these. Why? Again, packaging. Um, so this is what this one looks like. Super cute. So this is the first color. A cute little shimmer shade. And then... Oh my god oh my god look at this one guys holy crap okay you know what i watched these oh my god look how pretty that is okay let's do the first shade too okay the protect is going off it's very subtle uh i didn't bring a towel he has a makeup wipe I don't have a wipe, but uh, my makeup eraser. And then the last shade. Oh my god. Why are you falling? These are these are good toppers. Like it's a more bronzy shade. But that's what those look like. I don't know if you guys could pick that up on camera, but look how pretty those are. These could be taller topper shades. These are like good ones that I could have used for the wedding. I don't know why I didn't use them. So I'm just picking up the safety things here put those guys back so this is shatter all over oh my god i just messed up the shadows i just dig my the thing into the whatever i really like this metal shade it's like a 
orange to like rose gold almost or oh, this is the rose gold this is more orange and like that i don't know all right it's really pretty and then that one so like this is number two in orange blossom and then the other one i got oops is chocolate gyla so it comes in crushed pearl cool khaki and brown sugar what were these shades uh there was sandy peach which was the first one i saw uh second one i swatched this one sandy peach this one is sun kissed hand and then the really dark color was baked cinnamon all right and then these ones i will swatch as well it's like we haven't swatched party yet at night time so this one is what pack was this chocolate gala so the first shade will be crushed pearl then cool khaki and then brown sugar so these are more no these are not so these were like matte shades but they aren't okay let me just wipe my fingers off oh my god i think you could use these as highlight shades that is crushed pearl Ooh. oh yeah now these are mattes this is cool khaki it's a matte shade and then this last one will be oh my god i'm dropping them um brown sugar so those are the, la the other three so this is crushed pearl the shimmer shade up here cool khaki and brown sugar so that's more you know you got your regular shades and then a topper and these are just like more shiny shimmer ones where it could be nice topper shades so that is it for those three which are super cute what is happening here oh this is not closing properly so that's fun so i'm gonna take off those swatches but oh my god actually those are so pretty it's really cute travel size they're not even that big like you know what i mean like you could take your elf you know, and then these guys, and then just throw the shimmer shades on top. That's really cute. All right. What else? All right. So this was from my brother's, my brother and his girlfriend. So the younger one. So they got me this palette, which was pretty exciting. They got me Master Metallics by Mario. So that's what it looks like so these this is an eyeshadow palette these are all metallic shades and they all have metallics one two three the, there's no like name for them they just have numbers so i've used it already but this is what the palette sorry this is what the mirror is that's what the palette looks like why aren't you focusing it focusing come on there we go like oh my god okay come on focus But look how pretty i've used some of them like to see i've used some of the shades but like oh my god those are pretty if you want me to swatch some i would like i don't, I don't mind doing it maybe the shades i've used so i've used some of these during the wedding week i guess toppers on top of like my other wedding stuff like this is ball colors right here but i just swatched some shades right there so these are all metallic so these will all be topper shades or like shades that you will put on as just if you just want to put these on just to get a little bit whatever but i use these as topper shades so they're all metallics so that is exciting um i'm really happy for this and i really thank you jasmine and Grajan. and then obviously jag and karen for the other one Yes, my brother's fiance's name is Karen as well. What are the odds? 
Um, okay, so this one was uh, the guy I'm dating currently, my boyfriend. Um, I'm not going to say names just because, you know, purposes. I don't want people to like DM him or whatever. But Rupi, he didn't know what to get me, so he messaged Rupi. So he got me a bottle of wine, which is over there, which I didn't grab. I can show you which bottle of wine, just so you know. And then he also got me this. This is what she was going to get me, but then she's like, no, I'll get her something else. And then you could get her this because it would be easier for you to get so you don't pay for shipping and stuff. So he got me Artist Couture Supreme News. Yes, he did. I actually used it at the girls, this video that I'm going to put up for girls night. And I did like this ball look to it. And actually, the first one to use it is my cousin at her one of her functions. I actually took this with me and I used it on her. So this is what it looks like. I'm pretty sure you guys all know what it looks like. But this is a total fall palette. I'm so freaking excited. Like it has, it's a neutral palette for sure. So you have different transition shades here. And then different crease colors. And then you have some glittery topper. So this is a pressed glitter and then three shimmer shades and then the rest are all mattes yeah so i've used this on my cousin and then i think i use this on myself or something but oh my god this palette is to die for and if you could do it without writing a brush or you could do it with brush uh, writing a brush but there would be a makeup look on that and you guys will see that i won't link it below because i'm cleaning up later but yeah uh, I will swatch it, but it's pretty pretty basic. Nothing too exciting. I don't really want to do the glitter shade because I know that's going to get everywhere. So that is exciting. Um, I think that's it for... No, I have another present. And then I'm going to do what else I ordered. So Rupi and Jamie came out with what I wanted. So I had this on my cart and I wanted to get this. Then I changed my mind and never got it. So this is pretty much exactly what I had in my cart. And then I changed my mind. So she pretty much bought what I wanted. Um, I don't know why I didn't get it. I guess I wanted it, but then I was like, oh, wait till like Black Friday or something. I don't know. So she got me Kaleidos. Kaleidos, Kaleidos. But look at this box, guys. I'm just excited about the box and then when you open it i already knew where it was and i thought okay oh my god hopefully she didn't get me the new like package but she didn't she, thank god it wasn't it was exactly what i wanted so i kind of had an idea that she did that it's a little sneaky but it's awesome so you open it up i'm keeping the box i don't know where i think i should just keep it in display or something um i don't know if i'm just gonna pop it out during the summertime or something but i'm keeping the box for sure so that it comes like this so i got a highlighter palette that i wanted this is the diamond dasher that this is the space age highlight and diamond dasher this is what i wanted um so let's open it up the packaging is i totally like out of space thing so i don't know if you guys know but they're apparently a really good blonde brand so this is what it looks like and then when you open this guy can i open this in a way where i don't oh do i have to open up the whole thing i thought maybe i could just oh no on we gotta do a little surgery here some fine tuning okay there all right so this is the highlighter shade Even though I had so much glitter on my arm already, but look at that. Ooh. Like, oh my God. I'm so excited. I was gonna go with like a more bronzy shade, but I feel like I had so much bronze bronzy palettes already. So I went with this one. So that is the highlighter shade. And the rest of palettes. So there's a vault of three, I think. I think yeah, three the vault of three. So she got the ones I wanted. So it's not like this is something i didn't know about but i will show you which ones they are oh my god i don't have enough room on this table 
so she got me I think the sci-fi green came out okay yeah so she got me um, sci-fi green um, that is the first palette that they came out with which I was so freaking excited about because it's pretty much all a green palette it's kind of like almost melt um, melt cosmetics but apparently melt cosmetics is really good as well so it's like oh I think Jamie said I was better than melt cosmetics better I don't know I guess you could argue but I don't really care so the shitty part with these is that they do have the names but it's on this little slip so I think I'm gonna put them on the mirror side because I'm never gonna use this mirror so this is the sci-fi green which is literally fall colors again freaking love that if you don't know me I'm a green lover and a blue lover so it's like green blue so in my color but green has always been my favorite I know it's funny a lot of youtubers like green sorry my hair messed up there oh my god what is happening all right the other one I got is electro turquoise this is the fourth one whatever B is is that Roman numerals is that is that four five four I think and then this is what the packaging looks like so the packaging kind of represents the shadows so this is what the shadow colors are going to be and the reason I got this is because I really wanted that turquoise like oh my god and like that and dark teal yeah and then this is really pretty too so yeah that is what I wanted I don't even know if I'm going to use the orange I don't even have done any looks with orange maybe I should with this one but yeah that's the second one and then the third one um this just came out so this is the luna lavender so this is like new launch that they just had so i might be able to do looks with this one i just booked the packaging great oh my god i was i don't know why i don't think i'm gonna keep this anyways maybe I'll just throw the packaging stuff away and then this is what this one looks like this is six what's v1 is it one v is four and then v is five and this is six maybe this is six i don't know someone help me with the numer numbers i don't know but yeah so that is this lavender one which is so freaking pretty like oh my god like these two are these pressed glitters or like are they just glitter but like look at the neutral colors and then you could do a total purple look Yes, I would love to do a purple look because I don't think I've done a purple look on my channel. So if you guys want to see me doing this, I would love to do a look with this. Like, this is the newer one, so I would love to do a look with this. That way I could try out the palettes. I like how there's a green in here, but there's no green. Um, but yeah, this is totally like alien under the sea theme right here. But this is really pretty. So... Thank you, Ruby, again, and thank you, Jamie, for helping. <laughs> um, and then, uh, one last thing, I guess. I'm going to put all this stuff in the box, too, just because it's easier for me to put away. Um, so, I ordered something from Sigma on the 26th or the 20th, and they were having their sale again. I think it was, oh, I can't remember. 40% off or 30% off on pallets and I had to pay for shipping which kind of sucks because when you live in this if you live in Canada you have to pay for shipping for $18 and I had to pay $21 on top of that so that was like duties and customs and all that fun stuff and I think you have to spend over a certain amount of money to get this and I was like what's the point and then Ruby's like yeah if you have too much weight in it then it's gonna cost you more in customs so we just she ordered something already um but oh my god like why sorry guys i just want to rip into this i'm so freaking excited i'm so excited to try sigma as well um i'm a little late to the game and i ever keep talking about it and it's like oh yeah yeah maybe i should try it <laughs> and it's like finally i'm going to so this is kind of a birthday gift to myself um even though i bought stuff for myself but i bought more it's not my fault okay i wanted the hocus pocus palette 
from ColourPop. And I was hoping someone got it for my birthday, but they didn't. That's fine. I can't be greedy. But, you know, I, I think I like the Claydos more because it's something different. And I haven't tried Claydos yet. And ColourPop, I could try all the time. But Hocus Pocus is a limited edition. So it's not a big deal. It wasn't really a great palette anyways, but whatever. I just like so, uh, Hocus Pocus. So you get Sigma. I don't know what this is. It talks about the palettes. All the different ones, I guess. And then I don't know what this is. So cute little packaging. I feel like I should do... You know a cute little unboxing i think i'm gonna whip it out i don't know maybe i'll savage it a little bit for like instagram no i don't think it's gonna work no so it's gonna, okay, whatever. we won't well, we won't keep that in there but yeah it was cute packaging what else did i get oh well this cream is smushed that sucks so i got an eyeliner for free it's a Sigma Beauty eyeliner pencil. It's a long wear eyeliner pencil in Wicked Black. So that's what this looks like. I'm not going to actually, should I open it? But that's what it looks like. I'm not going to actually use it. I don't know if it's a self shelf life on it, but I need, I like black liner eyeliners. So I need that. So that was free with my purchase. Um, and then I'll show you which palettes I got. I... I was gonna get three, but honestly, I didn't want the other one just because I don't feel like I was gonna use it as much. So I'll tell you which one I got. I got Untamed, of course. So super exciting. And then you get brushes with these. So Sigma brushes are really like Sigma's known for their brushes. So that's the color story on the back. I'll open it for you guys as well. Um, if I could find my tweezers. Cause that's this is the only way I could keep it clean, so I'm really excited to show this one. Oh my god, the packaging! It's like velvet. Oh my god, the outer packaging is velvet too. Oh, I, sh I should keep it in the packaging. I'm not gonna throw the box away because I think I should keep it in there, just because I feel like cat hair is gonna get all over in that. And then this is what the palette looks like. Oh, of course, it's a mirror, so I'm not gonna open the mirror. But like this is. The palette pretty sure you guys see in this palette uh okay okay i thought it was stuck to it but i guess not i'm just gonna put that back over that oh my god this makes me so happy like look at those colors oh my god look at the mustard yellow <gasps> this is totally full palette i'm a little late to the game here fall's almost over but whatever um so that's exciting i'm keeping the package sorry my video cut out um i don't have much storage on here so let's quickly run through this and then the last thing is my God, i got the enchanted palette um the other one was uh i can't even pronounce it the Coda rosa palette is that how you say it and I was looking and homing and hawing if I should get as a third palette. And I honestly was like, I don't think I'm even going to use this palette. The Cora uh, de Rosa one. Everyone said they like, it's actually a really good palette. But I'm not into those pinks and purples. So why would I get a palette which I'm going to barely use? So this is the Enchanted. Really pretty. Again, cutest freaking packaging. And this is the palette itself. I feel like this looks like sponsored. Sorry about my middle finger. This looks like sponsored. This shade right here. Called, what color is that? Metamorphosis. Metamorphosis. Um, looks like sponsored from the Jackiana palette. The ABH Jackiana palette. Like, I feel like that's what it looks like. I don't know if it's the same shift. I don't think so. This one has more of like a bluey teal shift to it. It's something I should actually swatch. But yeah, I want to swatch these all badly, but I kind of don't want to at the same time. Maybe I should do it when I actually use a palette. But that is that palette. And this comes with that sleeve on there too, which looks really cute. Um, so this is more like 
a more grungy look almost but it has like the pinks and purples there like look at that shiny oh my god look at that pink oh my god yeah so this really caught my eyes even though you know some of these colors are like mm. but i could get i think i would get more use of this than the Quarter Rosa palette i'm not really into pinks and purples so that's think that's why the other reason why i wouldn't really use it um this one i should keep i don't think i'm gonna keep in the packaging just because it's not velvet and i don't like i just like this cool sh like thing for it but i think the other one should because i have cat hair and i feel like the cat hair is gonna get all, all over velvet it's like the abh novena palette like you know you know what i mean like that material will get like that all over it i've only have i have two abh palettes and they're both Riviera and the Jackie Anna, so it's not that velvety material. But if I ever got any of those, I think I'll keep them in the package just because they get really dirty easily. And if you have animals, velvet and animals don't mix. Like that freaking animal here is going to stick on that freaking velvet covering for sure. That's why velvet couches and stuff, like I've seen them. I was like, oh my god, this is all nice. Like a navy blue velvet couch. But it's like, I can't. I'm going to have that buff <laughs> You know what I mean? I don't know. It, that's a weird thing. But anyways, so I'm excited about that. Uh, let me know if you guys are interested in a look um, using these palettes. Um, I obviously want to use this one soon. The uh, Untamed one. And then maybe use Enchanted later. I don't know. But I feel like I should use Untamed just because of the, all that fall vibes that it's giving me um and then i don't know this enchanted look more i don't know doesn't give me like winter vibes but whatever so uh, let me know how you guys like this video hopefully you give it a thumbs up and thank you for watching my haul i love haul videos to see what i got um and then i will see you guys next time um and let me comment below on which palettes you want to see me do look for. i know for a fact oh, i need to do untamed and i also want to do a purple look with um the Clado's lunar lavender palette for sure because these purples damn i can't i can't and then i also could do another green grungy look with this one too but honestly i could um do that as well i don't know it's up to you guys you just let me know um i'm really grateful of all the presents i received thank you again for everyone who has gifted me and said birthday wishes to me i know my birthday is october 6th but i just wanted to say um october has been eventful mm -hmm.